uh, these categories here, which kind of represent cash flow, and we'll talk about more how that can be. How can we tie? What does this mean in terms of cash flow? How does this tie into cash flow? We'll talk more about that. But once we look at each of these cash flows areas, we then we then need to determine: Are these going to be areas that are going to go to the operating activities, investing activities, or financing activities? So let's take a look at an outline of a statement of cash flow so we can see how this will look in terms of a financial statement format. We're going to have operating activities. That'll be the top of our statement of cash flows. It's kind of like where most of the information will be. The operating activities are just going to have a list of inflows and outflows. And then we're going to have net cash provided or used by operating activities. Notice we have some generic terminology here because the terms will differ if we have a cash inflow or a cash outflow. Now, hopefully in the operating activities, uh, we have a cash inflow because this is going to be the major types of activities of the company. So typically here, we'll have a, t a cash inflow and we're going to say provided by, cash provided by because cash hopefully went up. However, if there's a cash outflow, if there's a decrease in cash for the time period, which is possible, we're going to use the term used in. So notice that when we make a kind of a generic format, a generic worksheet, we're basically going to use the terminology both provided by and used in uh, so that we can format our worksheet. The operating activities is really where most of the information should be because the operating activities is similar to an income statement that has been flipped from an accrual basis to a cash basis. So net cash provided by operating activities is kind of like net income on a cash basis because this is an activity statement this is reporting activity over time it's similar to the income statement and therefore this section should be where the most of the activity will be then we're going to have investing activities and we're going to list uh, inflows and outflows and then we'll have net cash provided or used by investing activities same format that we're going to have here there should be far fewer investing activities, however. Obviously, that'll deal with like investing if we were to invest as a company in stocks and bonds, but it also deals with investment in long-term assets such as property, plant, and equipment that will go into the investing activities. And then we will have the financing activities, same concept, listing inflows and outflows of the financing activities. And then we'll have the net cash provided or used in the financing activities. So our major goal when we think about the cash flow statement and we have questions about cash flow is usually which of these categories is it going to belong in? When we think about a cash flow, is it operating? Is it investing? Is it financing? We will go through a thought process in a later presentation in terms of how do, can we best determine whether something is operating, investing, or financing. And note that the default is off, 